Okay, let us discuss this problem. So this says, I find the potential at the edge of a thin disk of radius r carrying uniform charge density, surface charge density sigma. So what we have to calculate is, so we have given a disk and the radius of disk is given to you. So let us say this is the disk we have. So radius of disk is r and this contains charge, positive charge sigma. So charge per unit area is given to you. Sigma is the charge density for this disk. And we have to calculate electric potential at any point on the rim. So how will you proceed for this case? So let us say there is a point P here. And I am interested in electric field at point potential at P. So we have to find potential at P. So how we will proceed? So let us say I will consider this sphere, this disk and this is the point P that I am interested. Let us make this axis and this goes with the center of circle. So this is my point P. Now this is the center of circle. Now let us say I will consider a small a small strips. So let us say at radius R I consider a thin uniform ring. So let us say this angle is theta and I will consider theta plus d theta and then I can make a ring of radius R. So this ring I will have this ring here. I can make something like this. I can connect this point. So let us name this one. So this is P. The center is O. This is called M. Let us call this as N. Now two, three things is important in this case. What will be the angle M and P? So I am asking you a simple question. What will be the angle M and P? Then the 9 tenth. So now see, in 9 tenth we have already said angle of half circle is 90 degrees. So diameter makes an angle 90 degree in the corresponding section of the circle. So this is the diameter. So this diameter will make an angle 90 degree. So this angle M and P is 90 degree. So now I can say angle M and P is nothing but 90 degree. So what is the angle N M P? Can you tell me what is the angle M and P? So again, so this is 90, so this is 90 minus theta. So this will be M P will be hypotenuse and N P can I can write this is a base. Are you getting or not? So this is my triangle, I can write cos theta. So if I write cos theta, what I will write? So this length is R. I have already said this length is R. So this will be r divided by this height, that is the hypotenuse, that is the 2r, that is the diameter, so r by 2r. So now I know r is nothing but 2r cos theta. Now what is the thickness of this strip? So thickness of this strip is basically dr, so this is r. And then I have considered R plus DR. So what we have. So let me show you. So this is for R. So this is my center of circle. So this distance is R. And this distance is R plus DR. So this is R. And this is R plus DR. This means thickness of my strip is DR. Are you getting? So I can write dr is the thickness of a strip. So basically there will be relationship between dr and theta. So if I differentiate this equation that is dr is equals to 2r and cos theta is sin theta. Differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta and this is d theta. Now why I am getting minus sign that is important. If you increase theta, dr will decrease. 
or you decrease the theta, R will increase. You see here, if you increase the theta, I will cover this. So this point that 90 degree. So if I decreasing the theta, I will have this point. So if I'm decreasing the theta, I'm increasing the R. This is the initial R. So this is if I have zero, theta is equals to 90 degree, R is zero. Theta is when pi, so this is theta zero. When theta is zero, R is two R. So this negative sign shows if I increase the R, theta will decrease or other way around. If I decrease the R, theta will increase. So that is the minus sign. Now important point in this case we have dr is not r d theta. Generally we write dr is equals to r d theta when you have circular section. In this case dr is not related to r d theta. dr is related by this expression. Now let us find potential due to this ring. So this is a smaller strip. All the points of this strip are at a distance r. So this point, this point, this point, all, at, all are at a distance of r. So these points are at a distance of r. This point, this point, this, all points are at a distance of r. So I can write potential due to this strip. So let us call this as dB. Potential due to this strip is total charge by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Now my target is to find total charge. That is the area into sigma because area so thickness is, so let me write area into sigma and this divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Now my target is to find out the area of a strip. So how will find? Now let us say if I write here area of a strip and this is easy to find. Now see if I know what is the total length this, I can multiply by the thickness, I will get the area. Thickness is dr and what is the total length this? This total length I can find using theta is equals to L by r. So this angle is theta, so this angle is again theta, so this is also theta. So the total angle is 2 theta. Now if I apply theta is equals to L by r, that is 2 theta is equals to L by r, r is this distance, r is this uh, small r. So l is nothing but 2r into theta. Then the length of this strip is 2r theta. If I know the length, if I multiply by, the, uh, by thickness that is dr, I will get the area. So area of a strip is 2l theta, uh, 2r theta. You see here, so this is 2r theta. 2r theta into dr. So this is the area of a strip. So let us plug these values into potential. So I have dv is equals to area is 2r theta dr. So 2r theta dr. This is the area. And then I have to multiply by uh, sigma and this divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Now I have to integrate this one. So let us say potential we will have. So dv will be. So r r goes. So we will have 2 pi epsilon naught in the denominator. 2 pi epsilon naught. 2 goes. r goes. On the top we will have theta sigma dr. Now I have to change this dr because I cannot integrate in two variable. So dv is sigma by 2 pi epsilon naught theta into dr. And dr is what? You check your copy. So dr is 2r cos theta. Now dr is minus 2r sin theta d theta. So this is minus 2r sin theta d theta. Are you getting? So this will be dv will be 2 to again goes so r into sigma by pi epsilon naught r into sigma by pi epsilon naught and this is theta sin theta d theta. Now I have to integrate. So I have to integrate theta so you see when theta is equals to 90 degree, that is this point, I will get this point. So when theta is 90 degree, I am somewhere here. That is this point. Theta decreases, that is when theta is equals to 0, I will have here. Are you getting or not? 
So I can integrate theta initially, I am considering r is equals to 0 at this point. So r is equals to 0 corresponding to theta is equals to 90 degree. r is equals to 2r corresponds to theta is equals to 0. This means I have to integrate from 90 to 0. So this goes from pi by 2 to 0. I have to have a minus sign also here. Now doing this integration is slightly tricky one. So this is a this integration can be done using integration by parts. I don't know whether you know or not. So if you does not know, you ask your teacher or just see any mathematical book, you will find. So let us say integration, I want to do this integration, theta sin theta d theta. What I will do is, I will use one method. So if we have, there is a formula in mathematics. If we have integration of u v, so leave u, differentiate uh, u v dv plus, and then you have to differentiate u. So, and then, and then you have du, and dv du and v dv. So this you have to do. So if I do this, so let us say in this case my u is theta. So u is theta and v is sin theta. So how we will do this integration? So this will be, integration of this will be, so I have to leave u, that is I have to leave theta and then integrate v dv that is integrate sin theta so integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so this part is over now the second part differentiation of theta that is u so different theta differentiation is 1 now I have to integrate sin theta d theta two times sin theta d theta now integration of sin theta is cos theta minus of cos theta and cos theta is again sin theta Now I have to integrate this from 0 to pi by 2 or pi by 2 to 0. So if you plug the upper limit, when 0, this is 0 because theta is 0 and this is 0. When pi by 2, this cos theta is 0 because this is pi by 2 is 0 and this is 1 but with a minus sign so this will be 1. Are you getting or not? Integration of will be 1. Now if you plug this value here, so this integration is simply 1. Uh, basically, as I remember, this should be minus. So in formula, I don't know exactly, you check your your teacher or your uh, you can check your any book. This is basically minus. So, I will have here a minus and there will be a plus because if I integrate two times sin theta, one will be minus with again plus, so you will have plus. And this is zero and this will be minus one. Why I am doing this minus 1? Because you see here, now potential, this integration is minus 1, so potential is plus r sigma by pi epsilon naught. So finally I can write r sigma by pi epsilon naught. Potential cannot be negative because I have a charge distribution that is positive. So potential has to be positive and that's why I have to check my mathematics and of course my mathematics should be have a minus sign, that's I can, that, that's only give me a potential that is positive. Are you getting or not? So in this case, potential on the surface of disk, on the circumference of disk will be sigma r by pi epsilon naught. So this result you can remember, that the potential on the surface, this is given by sigma r by pi epsilon naught. So please try to remember these results. More results you remember, that's fine. If you don't remember that, also not worried. But if you try to remember, that will give you extra benefit. If you have more information in your mind, you can always apply them. And if you don't remember, what do you have to do? You have to derive. If you remember, you can anytime use this result. We'll discuss the next problem.